Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Larry Lercy. Welcome back to the channel. Now, if you've been viewing my channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm a big fan of Luminar and their products, uh, most recently Luminar AI. And they've got Luminar Neo that came out here a month or so back, and I was a little confused at first. Like, is it an upgrade to AI? Is it something different? And so I've taken a little bit of time to kind of explore it and do a little research, and I've kind of come to the conclusion that they're two different products, but they're very similar. In this video, I'm going to try and explain to you the differences and help you decide which one's really the better match for you if you're just now jumping into the Luminar universe. Also, if you already have Luminar AI, we can talk a little bit about whether or not Luminar Neo is something that you need as well. So we've got a lot to talk about. Let's roll the intro. Okay, so I think you should look at Luminar AI a lot like you look at Adobe products. You've got Photoshop and Lightroom, which do a lot of the same things, but they're kind of geared differently. You know, Lightroom is much more about uh, working with your catalog and doing things in batching, uh, whereas Photoshop is much more going into detail and has a lot more tools than you have in Lightroom. So they're just kind of different. They don't really compete with each other. They just kind of, some people like to use Lightroom, some people use Photoshop, some people use both. And I think that these products are much the same. If you look at Luminar AI and Luminar Neo side by side, you're going to see a lot of the same tools. You're going through going, this is the exact same software. One big difference you'll notice is that Luminar AI has these templates. In fact, they kind of push the templates. Whenever you open up the software, the first thing you see is software looks at it and says, you know what would be great for this image is these templates. And a lot of times they are great. And it allows you, without really knowing much about the software, just to click a button and get a whole different look to your image really is super handy. And of course you can in AI go and tweak that template or just ignore the templates and go in individually. But it does give you that ability and in my mind that makes it a little more geared towards someone who doesn't have a lot of Photoshop or digital editing background. Again, an advanced person can use it and I've used it a lot, but it's certainly an extra crutch for someone who is new to it. Luminar Neo does not have those templates. The trade-off is it has a faster engine and has some more Photoshop-like features. They've brought back things like uh, layers. You know, AI had sort of a simple layer system, but Neo has m a much more layer system, more like Photoshop. There's a few things like the Relight AI, the Dust AI, some very specific tools that uh, you don't have in the other software. And we'll do some videos talking about those here down the road a little bit. But it's much more geared towards you looking at it and saying, this image needs these five things. And you go in, pull up that tool, make the change, pull up that tool, make the change, and get the image exactly how you want. Much like you do in Photoshop. You don't open up Photoshop, click one button, and the image is done unless you're using some sort of a, an action or something like that. But Luminar Neo is much more like Photoshop in that regard. It's a big group of tools that you can go through and it's geared for working with a big file. It's gonna work through it faster. It's not gonna give you that template crutch that you would have with Luminar AI. Okay, so two big questions. First off, you don't have any of the Skylum products and you don't know whether to get Neo or AI. I would say it depends on where you are with your digital editing skills and where you are with Photoshop and things like that. Again, Neo is designed to kind of replace Photoshop. It's a big giant toolbox. AI is that same toolbox without a few of the tools, a few things missing, but giving you these templates and the ability to just one click things and transform your images really quickly. So I would say if you're more of a beginner or someone who's just looking for a really quick way to make fast edits to images, AI is the way to go. If you're someone that hates templates and you want to go in and do a lot more precise editing, maybe you're doing composites and you want to have all those layers and things, then I think Neo is the way to go. So either one, you can't really go wrong because again, a lot of the overlap is they do the same things. By the way, you can use the coupon code LARRYPHOTO to get a discount on the website. There's a link down below if you want to check that out. Okay, so the second question is, if you already have Luminar AI, should you get Luminar Neo? And I think that depends on a few things. One, if you do a lot of compositing and you're looking for something just to completely replace Photoshop or try to do that, then I think making the jump to Neo is worth it. If you're interested in any of the new things that they've added. 
Again, it's just going to kind of depend on where you are in your journey and what you use Luminar AI for. Uh, Neo is going to be a little bit faster, but you aren't going to have the templates. So I would say if you're an AI user who relies heavily on the templates, probably just stay with Luminar AI. If you're one of those people that hates templates and likes to go in and edit everything by hand and would like to have a little faster engine and a few new tools, then Neo's probably worth the upgrade. Again, you can use that Larry Photo discount code to uh, save a little money on the new product. But that's how I see the two products. I'm sure some of you have tried one or both of the products. Would love to hear your comments down below. Let me know what you think is the difference and uh, whether or not you recommend one over the other. Because I think, like I said, it depends on where everyone is in their journey and I would love to hear your thoughts on it. But that's all I've got for this week. We will be back with more tutorials soon and I will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.